Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 9, Lesson 9, Common Fractions. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Let's look at common fractions. Now, a fraction is a part of a whole. For example, if a pie is cut half, then each part is half of one whole pie. So if you look at the symbol 1 over 2, so 1 is called the numerator and 2 is called the denominator. The denominator is the bottom number of the fraction. It tells us how many equal parts something can be divided into. The numerator is the top of the number of a fraction. It tells us how many equal parts we have. Proper fractions, when the numerator is smaller than the denominator, example, 3 over 5. Improper fraction, when the numerator is bigger than the denominator, example, 13 over 4. And a mixed number consists of a whole number and a fraction, for example, 3 and a quarter. Equivalent forms or equivalent fractions. Now, facts can have the same value, even though they may look different. For example, a half and two quarters. They are equivalent because they are both half of the whole. You can look, look at the, uh, the, the diagrams there. A half equals to two quarters. So you can see that a half is equal to two quarters. If you multiply both numerator and denominator of a half by two, the result is two quarters. If you divide both numerator and denominator by two quarters, by two, the result is a half. So it doesn't matter whether you multiply by two or divide by two. A half is the same as two quarters, is the same as four eighths, etc. Addition and subtraction of common fractions. When adding, and subtracting fractions, you must have a common denominator. To add and subtract fractions, all the fractions must be expressed in the same unit. Adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator and different denominators. Example, without using a calculator, of course, same denominator, like a quarter and a quarter, got the same denominator, so therefore it is easy. One plus one is two, two quarters. Take note, not 4 plus 4 is 8. No, it's only 1. You only add the numerators. The denominators don't change. Is that clear? Same with a 3 quarter minus a quarter. So you just say 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 quarters. You don't say uh, 4 minus 4 and get 0. Please, that will be incorrect. If the uh, denominators are different, for instance, 3 fifths plus 3 and 1 sixth, then you must find the LCD, or the lowest common denominator of the, and of course here the LCD will be 30. 5 and 6, the uh, LCD will be 30. So you convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. Remember how to do it? 3 times 6 is 18, plus the 1 is 19 over 6. Convert both fractions to equivalent fractions. Like both of them can be multiplied by 6 over 6. Why? To give you the 30. So remember you must multiply 3 times 6 and 5 times 6 gives you 18 over 30. 19 times 5 and 6 times 5 gives you 95 over 30. Remember you must multiply the numerators and the denominators by the same value. Why? To maintain equivalency. That's important. And now you just see 18 plus 95 gives you 113 over 30. Multiplication and division of common fractions. Multiplication is repeated addition, actually. 5 times 3, for instance, is the same as 5 plus 5 plus 5. So it is actually addition, and both give you 15. Division, again, is splitting into equal parts. For example, 5 times 3 over 3.5 is the same as 5 plus 5 plus 5, and plus a half of 5. So there you are. So it is 17 and a half. Division is the opposite of multiplying. 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. 
and 12 divided by 4 is 3. Example, finding a fraction of a whole number involves multiplying a whole number by a fraction. We multiply the whole number by the numerator and then divide by the denominator. Example, 5 over 7 of 9. But remember in mathematics, of means multiply. 9 is a whole number, so write it as a fraction, 9 over 1. Then you say 5 times 9 is 45, and 7 times 1 is 7, which of course is also 6 and 3 sevenths. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and the denominators. We do not need an LCD. Example, 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 10 is 30. And you can divide both by 6, and you get 3 fifths. Right. So when we work with mixed numbers, remember, we always must convert to an improper fraction before multiplying. Example, 3 and a quarter times 2 and 5 over 6. So 3 and a quarter is 3 times 4 plus 1 is 13 over 4. And 2 times 6 is 12 plus 5 is 17 over 6. And then only can we take it further. Dividing common fractions by a fraction, we can again make use of the reciprocal of the divisor. For example, two-thirds divided by four-fifths is the same as two-thirds times the reciprocal of four-fifths is five over four. We also call it the multiplicative inverse. And now we can solve it as multiplication. So two-thirds times five over four gives you then ten over twelve, which is the same as five over six. Right, please have a look at the following three examples. Please work through them. Make sure you can do them. And then the memo is on the next page. And here's your solutions to the previous examples. Please make double sure that you can do them. Remember, practice makes perfect. Good luck. Right, this is uh, Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.